All right, so now that it's been about a day and a half, uh, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like once the brine shrimp have hatched. Let's get a close up. There we go. Can you guys see them all swimming around? I'm trying to stand still. So, those are the little brine shrimp. Um, they've all hatched. I don't think there's a very... There we go. Let's see. There we go. Those are baby brine shrimp that have hatched day before yesterday. <clears throat> and those are what I'm going to feed my baby oxalotls. If you want to keep these guys alive, I suggest going onto eBay and ordering. Um, just put in the word, um, oh god, I can't f remember how to spell the name. Sperlina, I think it is. It starts with the SP. You can put in something like baby brine shrimp food. That's really good to feed them, and that will keep them growing. And then once they're big enough to have their own babies, this is what's what's going to hatch in your aquarium. But it will requ uh, require a, um, an aquarium that's salt water, so you're going to need to know how to learn how to set up a salt water tank. It's really easy. You just got to check the salinity. Google all the information or watch some videos on here of others who have um, baby brine shrimp that they raise, and that way you can um, learn how to raise your own baby brine shrimp. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, don't forget to rate the video and favorite if you like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, let me show you my tank with the new plants. That is what it looks like now. And I got my little fishy, I mean my um, shrimp still in there is the boy. All the plants in here now are all real. You still have those little guppies in there. And I'm going to add some more shrimp to this tank so you guys can see them and take some of these fishies out. I got to do a water change soon. See you guys in the next video.